Welcome to the world of electronics and communication engineering. If you are someone who is fascinated by how technology connects us, whether it is through the devices in our hands or through the network that link us, then electronics and communication engineering is the right choice for you. In this video, we are going to explore every aspect of electronics and communication engineering where we'll be talking about what electronics and communication engineers actually do where are the different sectors where they work, what are the job profiles they have, what are the courses they have to study, what are the colleges that give you uh, a chance to study in electronics and communication engineering and yes, so all these aspects will definitely help you to understand and to decide whether electronics and communication engineering is a branch for you or not, okay. So yes, if you are someone who is interested in ECE or want to pursue a career in this, then definitely this video is for you. So please stick around so that you don't miss out on any important update. Okay, let's get started here. First, we will understand in, let's start with the very basics. We write it as ECE. It stands for Electronics and Communication Engineering. Here you can see two words, right? Electronics and Communication, sorry. Here we can see two words that is Electronics and Communication. So engineers who are studying ECE, they work in these two sectors, electronic devices and the communication system, okay. We will understand it in little uh, more uh, here. ECE is a branch of engineering that focuses on the study of electronic devices and communication system, okay. Okay, now they design, develop and test the devices that help us to communicate whether it is through call, text, videos or even through space signals okay so these are the they design different uh, the electronic devices and they also work how can we communicate using these devices okay so now uh, it might not be very clear we'll be going much more in detail now now suppose you have become an electric uh, like electronics and communication engineer what will you be doing after four years after studying this course for four years what will you be doing okay so let us see that now you will be creating some smartphones, computers, TVs and radios. You see every day, every day new model of phones are launched, right? Some, uh, you can say some Samsung Galaxy 23, iPhone uh, 14, 13, 15, every time, every day a new phone is released, right? So who are the one who works on this? These are our electronics and communication engineers, okay? So tomorrow you might be seeing some, today we have started from a normal TV to smart TV. This whole journey, the person who make us today, uh, like who made us reach to the level of digital TVs is our electronics and communication engineers, okay? So yes, you, if you are someone who has studied ECE, you will also be working on some very uh, like making smartphones, making TVs, making new devices, new electronic gadgets. Understood? Second, where you will be working? You will be working on networks, okay? So, we saw there are two words, electronics and communication. If you are like, uh, you can also be a communication. You will be working on the networks, how the networks speed can be increased, how the, how there can be new other ways of communication. These all things will be under your guidance. Next, Create the tiny components that make up the electronic devices. So we, so when you are making electronic devices, you need to be very, very thorough about the circuits. You will be working about the tiny circuits that can be embedded in different systems and then it works. Next, coming to make sure, uh, you have to make sure that the electronic devices work pop properly and fix any problems, okay. So if your phone is not working, you have to go to for an electronics and communication engineer who can fix your problem, okay. Okay, now coming to the real world impact, where are reality, like where are in your daily life where you can see this electronics and communication engineers as working, okay. First is your smartphone, everyone uses smartphone, right, there, one, there cannot be anyone or very less population can be there who is not using today's smartphone, right. So these smartphones are designed by our electronics and communication engineering, starting from its screen to its network connection everything is designed by a electronics and communication engineer. So when you are seeing your phone now, think that if you are an electronics and communication engineering, one day you can have a phone designed by you all only, okay. So just imagine in this way. Healthcare, so you have so many uh, machines today, 
like MRI machines are there, okay, smart watches are there which can track your health, these all heart monitors are there, these all devices are made again by electronics and communication engineers, okay. Next, internet and communication. Today staying here, we are able to send mails, we are able to send, we are able to call, we are do WhatsApp messages, we are able to do Instagram, we are able to use uh, like internet so you easily, right? And the one who works for it is our electronics and communication engineers. Okay, now coming to the core subjects and curriculum. So, we have understood that if I become a electronics and communication engineer, I might be developing some smartphones or I might be working on some networks or I'll be working some teeny teeny circuits so that the phone looks good, the phone works efficiently like this, right? You are getting some imagination now. Are you able to imagine yourself as an electronics and communication engineer? Okay. Now, to become, to be able to be in this situation, what are the subjects that you are going to study? Let us see that now. First is circuit theory. In circuit theory, you will be uh, working about like the role of registers, inductors, the capacitors, right? You will be thinking from physics, you have so many terms here. In an integrated circuit, how these components work. Next, coming to digital electronics. You here will be knowing how to represent an information in terms of 0 and 1. I don't know whether it is there or not, we have this gates, NAND gate, AND gate, 0, 1, input, output, right? So, these all things also you will be studying in digital electronics. Signal and systems, here you will be learning how can you transfer a signal, how can you amplify it a signal, right? These all things are there. Electronic uh, fields and waves, next you have microelectronics, so small, uh, how can you make teeny circuits, small circuits, how can this work? These all things comes under microelectronics. Embedded system, here you need to know how can you embed or how can you attach a small computer to different other devices so that the efficiency, the work, the function improves. Next coming to career opportunities, okay. So here we will be talking about if you are an electronics and communication engineer, then what are the industries where you can work, okay. I will be also telling you some top companies here. So, first of all in telecommunication, so companies that provide phone, internet, cable services, you can work in Airtel, Jio, Reliance, right, sorry, they are Airtel, Jio, so these all BSNL, these are all things which work on telecommunications. Next, electronics manufacturing, companies that make electronic devices like smartphones, computers and TVs, you have LG, then you have Nokia, you have Samsung, so many companies are there where you can work. Next, semiconductors industry. So, you are someone who will be making tiny chips used in these electronic devices, small integrated circuits you have to make. What are the companies here? If you remember Qualcomm, Intel, right? Next, coming to uh, automotive industries, companies that make cars, trucks and other vehicles. You have uh, Toyota, you have so many other automotive companies also. Okay, now coming to job roles. So, exactly what is your role as an electronics and communication engineer, okay? So, if you are an electronics engineer, you will be working on making electronic gadgets. You will be designing them. You will be think like your work is to ensure that it works properly. Next, communication engineer. You will be working on networks, okay? Next, embedded systems engineer. So, you will be working on how to embed small computers in different devices. Next, research and development engineer, here you need to work on how can we improve whatever facilities we have, okay, how to work more so that how, what researches and developments can be taken place. Next, telecom engineer and then you have radio frequency engineer, so radio frequency is the uh, people who work with uh, radio waves that helps in communication, so you need to work with these things. Now coming to placement here, so we will take an example and see the placement for RV college. So for uh, RV college here uh, you can see in 2021 and 2022 according to the la latest data we have total number of students were 196, the number of students placed were 163, total offers made were 276, 
open dream offers were 148 and the highest package was around 56.25 lpa now open dream offers so every college has some uh, offers like dream offers super dream offers based on the packages so i exactly don't know what is the category here but open dream offers something was made of around 148 and the highest package was around 56.25 lpa okay 56 lpa next coming to uh, uh another bms college of engineering another uh, very top college let us see the placement here so you here i have uh, shown you the number of offers so if you if you can see after computer science and information science if any branch is there which has the highest number of offers you can see that is ece 143 offers were made in 2024 and it is still ongoing okay next coming to, coming to the most important thing ma'am what are the companies that we are going to work okay so yes you have so many companies jio airtel nokia sony lg samsung so these are your manufacturing companies right these are your telecom computer com, uh, companies siemens bajaj electricals wipro adani then you have havels you have microtech so many all well known and multinational companies are here next coming to the psus okay here also electronics and communication engineering has also role in different psu sectors so you can see bsnl this is a telecom drdo ntpc then you have bell you have isro you have bark okay now yes so now you will be asking ma'am okay you told so many things now what are the colleges where we can study so almost every college has this branch electronics and communication engineering we need to know the cutoff for this okay so cutoff is slightly high if you see pes ring road it is 5898 ms ramaya 5803 national institute around 9732 rv college 13000 1366 bms 5257 and then in sagar is around 11067 okay okay now coming to the very important question here every branch has its own pros and cons you need to decide whether you are the right choice for this or not so here are some questions for you please take a pen and paper and answer yes or no to these questions if you find more number of yes then this can be a good option for you if you find more number of no's then you can skip this option okay let us try this okay first one do you enjoy maths and physics please write yes if you are if you have scored very good marks if not scored also if you are someone who is interested in solving questions who is interested with registers by seeing registers capacitors you want to calculate parallel series connection what will be the volt such things if it interests you then put a yes here next uh, are you curious about how gadgets work when you ha have you ever thought like how this mobile works how the tv works how what is the circuit inside a mobile how can it connect to these networks have these questions ever come to your mind or if now also at least after seeing is this question coming to your mind and you are trying to know this answer you're curious to know these answers then put a yes next do you like solving problems and working with technology so if you are interested with technology you are interested with circuits you are interested with uh these type of uh, electronic devices then definitely you can go for this branch okay now coming to challenges and rewards as i say every branch has its own pros and cons nothing comes with all pros nothing comes with all cons we need to decide what are the challenges here and do we have the ability to overcome these challenges if we are having then definitely we can go for this branch provided we are uh, happy and we are satisfied we are confident and strong in its curriculum okay next see the challenges and rewards here first of all the challenge is rapid technological advancement you know i told you every day every day some new gadgets are coming right so you need to update yourself every day with that rapid how rapidly the gadgets are coming you should be that fast in updating yourself whatever you have learned you want to sit down then you cannot survive in this industry you need to work every day on your knowledge you need to update yourself you need to know new things every day okay next complex problem solving you need to know how can you solve the complex problems okay based on may it be small uh, circuits to uh, telecommunication network whatever problem complex problems are there you need to solve it here competitive job market so this is one important thing here that <clears throat> since it is a very demanding branch 
many many students opt for it there is a huge competition so you need to really work hard to outstand everyone okay now coming to the rewards here good earning potential okay you can see a highest package was around 56 lpa so you have a lot of lot more scope to earn in this branch then you have diverse career path you can be a communication engineer you can be an electronics engineer you can be a design engineer there are so many different different career opportunities you have and next is global opportunities as you know you uh, these devices are launched all over the country all over the world right so there are global opportunities for you you might have studied in india you can work in different america's top companies you can work in apple you can work in google microsoft you can work in so many different companies that have like worldwide experience next okay so finally we have come to the end of this video i hope i could have explained you what exactly electronics and communication engineer do so again i'll just summarize it it is two things electronics that is gadgets who work with the working of gadgets who design it okay and communication the different network system that is handled by these people okay we find them in smartphones we find them in all other categories in medicals in defense everywhere we need these people okay so if you are someone who is really fascinated with these curriculum you're good in physics maths and you are strongly uh, like interested in these subject then definitely you can consider okay so the whole uh, point of making this video was to make you aware about this branch and do not follow the crowd that everybody has computer science wants computer science so i also want to do that do not be in this way just understand this branch if this is something that excites you then definitely choose this branch okay so yes i hope this video was helpful and would have opened your eyes like would have opened your knowledge regarding this branch and and if you have liked this video please subscribe the channel okay thank you for watching and all the very best for your kset 2024 counseling process